Big Creek River carves a winding path through the Ozark Mountains in northern Arkansas, flowing through steep bluffs, treacherous ridges, and challenging terrain. It's here that engineering and surveying company Kraft & Toll has been tasked with surveying 150 acres to collect data needed to design a new road through the heart of these rocky cliffs. Upon reviewing the project, Kraft & Toll team members Nick and Jeff have determined that using UAV LiDAR technology to survey the area will generate the point cloud visualizations needed to complete their mission. However, the mountainous terrain, remote location, and scale of the project presents one of the most challenging surveys the Kraft & Toll team has ever experienced. So our goal today was to get out here, get a feel for what we're up against, uh, plan some flights, and, and hopefully get a few flights completed today. Kraft & Toll has selected the Micro Drones MD LiDAR 1000 to survey the terrain. For most jobs, Nick and Jeff can use their UAV technology to easily create their plan, fly the area, and then process and visualize the data into a 3D point cloud. However, here in the mountains of the Ozarks, they are faced with over 500 feet of elevation change over a large area of challenging terrain. For this mission, they will need to set the height above ground level at 50 to 60 meters to accurately collect the laser scanning from the LiDAR. It will take meticulous planning to keep the drone a safe distance from the steep cliff edges and treetops, while still getting the data they need. Just on that side of that big bluff right there is where we're going to start, up there at the top of the hill. And it's closest to us that way, and so if something looks wrong, we can kick it out and bring yep. it back. Yep. So we need to get the base up and running next. So, I mean, typical procedure is just to set a point on the job. We'll bring in a here position, which is like an autonomous GPS position, similar to what your phone would pull in. We'll get a corrected position so that it's right with, the, with where it's at on the earth. Without the drone, with the, with the regular survey crew right here, uh, you're looking at uh, probably two or three weeks worth of field work to get this, to get this survey. It's dangerous too because there's there's some sheer bluffs on here that would be really challenging to get data on. And the challenge on this project is the terrain. From surveying to the top of the mountain to the bottom of the mountain presents a great challenge. Be what the monitor real because it's going to lose battery more because of how it's flying. It. I don't think that we'll get more than two flight lines with the terrain follow. You're right. I don't think so either. But to fly it manually is going to be so difficult. We could also move the takeoff point to closer to the front so we could just fly it, take it off here and manually fly it over there. I'm just here really to support the guys from Craft & Soul. I always like to kind of see what kind of projects they're using our systems to do. This one is obviously putting everything to the test and uh, it's kind of neat to see uh, how we tackle this. We're topping the batteries off. As soon as the batteries get topped off, we're gonna get set up and put the bird in the air, get to some action. You have enough battery too? I mean, we pretty much burned the entire battery just getting there. The problem is depth perception and where you're actually at. You can see it on the map, and when you get down there 3,000 foot away in the bottom of that, you have no idea. Dang. With the difficult terrain, we ended up going using a lot more battery than we than we thought, just getting to the flat block. We weren't able to capture any data due to the amount of battery that was used in the elevation change. Ah. We're gonna have to think this one out for sure. I'm throwing the challenge flag and calling an audible. So according to Randy, from that ridge line right there, that bluff, that, that furthest one on that point that you can see, back to here, there is zero chance of going off any of that bluff line with a road. He has got a place where he's gone and found a little bit of a gap. It's got like a 15 or a 20 foot drop versus a hundred. And you can't see that from here. So we may need to just retool, pick up, go over to the lodge area over there and set up there, develop a plan to really focus in on the valley and capture that valley down there. And then we'll run a one corridor line back and forth where he thinks 
because Randy's walked this entire property. And so now that Randy's discovered this best case, best place to go off, most efficient place, we need to focus, we need to focus our energy there. Perfect. After doing some scouting and talking to the, the local land manager, Randy, we realized that the only feasible location was one specific spot. And so Randy showed us that spot and it dramatically reduced our project area or our project limits. Well, I've lived here all my life and I'm 59 year old. I'm caretaker of this a couple of properties here and I can mow the yards and everything, keep maintenance done on them. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna pick up and um, punt and go to the other side. With the lower part of the bluff, there's not a very good place for us to see the drone, so we're gonna have to find a better vantage point tomorrow to make sure we can see the drone throughout the flight and complete this last part of the mission safely. Mm -hmm. 